Hey, you're listening to the Smoking Joe Thunder podcast. Hey, it's your boy Joe Thunder back once again with another episode of the Smoking Joe Thunder podcast. I got my co-host Elvis Freshly with me. What's going on, G? Yo, man, what's going on? I'm just chilling, bro. Just chilling. That's you know? it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of raining outside. It's kind of wet. Yes, yeah, chill day. It's one of those uh, kick back, smoke some blunts inside. It's been like that. It snowed the other day. Yeah, that was wild. End you of know May. What I'm hey, have you ever been in? The, I'm sure you've seen the snow, right? Yeah, I, I've been like up to the mountains and been in the snow a few times in my life. Did it really snow down here or no? Because I was like about an hour. Oh yeah, my shit. Yeah. And it was snow well, where I was. It was at, for real bro. snow. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was snow and it was like I was. I had to go outside and smoke a blunt and. Yeah. Woo ha! I got you all in check, bro. Uh, <laughs> but shout out to be good, our official sponsor over there in Eleven <laughs> West Hampton. You know what I mean? Yep. Where are they up at North? Hundred Fourteenth in Cherokee. Uh, right across the highway from Boondocks. They got those specials right now, man. Go get you some good weed, good ounce specials, good za, good That's everything. Za-za. Edibles, you name it. But check it out, man. We got another banger for you. We've been knocking out some crazy episodes for you. We got a beast in the building today, man. This is a true a like, for a graffiti trip. bomber. And if you don't know what a bomber is, you, maybe you need to ask someone. It's not someone who does murals or does legals 24 7. This cat. Climbs billboards, fucking hits hot spots, crazy shit, just up. Just destroy shit. <laughs> yeah, destroy shit in multiple cities, you know what I mean? Just from, I say from like, coming to like what we were saying, like St. Louis, Mississippi on West, right? Shit, I haven't hit St. Louis, but that's on the, it's on the list. It's on the list. Places to be soon. Well, if you don't know who we have, we have Big Jackal in the building, TKO. What's good? Graffiti bomber extraordinaire. <laughs> You know what I mean? Thanks What's going for coming on, brother? Out, bro. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me, dude. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm just chilling. You've been to Denver like a couple times, right? Yeah. Haven't really got to paint much out here except for this time. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Shit, I want to say last time you were here for literally like what a day or two, like literally like a day. You you have you got like four or five spots. Uh, it's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but still, man, fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was kind of crazy. But you're kind of chilling here this time for kind of a couple more days. You know what I mean? Yeah, you pl- yeah. plan on getting it while you're here? Um, maybe like really just like kind of taking a break in between. Where did I come from? Kansas City and the next destination, I yep. guess. We just uh, stopped yeah. here for some money and took a breather real quick, I guess. Kind of take like a chill kind of, because it is pretty like chill graffiti scene here. You can go out, you know, bombing. It's not too crazy. You can do some, you know, like you guys were, I'm not going to say you guys were posted up. You guys were posted up with the cones and the vests on the other day. Just doing some daytime <laughs> shit, right? Yeah, some illegal, legal. Just blending in like chameleon you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, so you said you were kind of you kind of got into graffiti when you um, were living in Hawaii, right? Yeah. How, how did you kind of start getting? How did you? How were you introduced to graffiti? So funny story. Uh, I was uh, like eight or something, eight years old. And I was going home and I seen this fool painting this market by my house, and he's dropping a sick ass burner right there. And I never knew what it said for years and years and years, but. That's what got me into it, you know what I mean? Like, I seen that shit, and I was like, damn, fuck, I want to do something like that. So I started fucking writing, like, drawing letters and, you know, going out and racking markers and shit from stores and getting in trouble. <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know, years went by, and I started, you know I mean, actually doing graffiti and shit, like, around, like, high school, maybe, maybe middle school. Then uh, one night I was... I mean, out when I wasn't supposed to be, and then I was with the homies, and we met up with one of their older homies, and it turned out to be that full I seen when I was like a little kid. So you know, what I mean, it's kind of a weird. It was like deja vu. I was right? like, yo, yeah, it came full circle. It's like he was giving me props and shit, and I was like, damn, fool, like you're the reason why I even like started doing this shit. But yeah, I don't know. It's one of the homies though. What does he write? Huh? What does he write? Yeah. Uh, that's the homie Arise One from uh, PM Crew, Pointless Mesh. Oh, sick. And uh, Rock Steady Crew or something like that. Rock Skittles, I forget what it was. Oh, yeah, that's dope. Do you remember what your first name was that you wrote? Shit, I don't even remember. I think it was like some something stupid like Drop fucking two or four or some, I don't know, like some number, some random number that had no significance. <laughs> sick. 
when drop you, 592 or something. <laughs> when did you kind of get into your name that, you, that you, you're running with right now? How did that come along? Uh, I actually gave this name to my homie, and then uh, he started writing it, and then I seen him write it, and I was like, damn it. I kind of like those letters, so I kind of took it back from him and started writing it more than he was. Uh huh. And then uh, he he just ended up writing like his old name. <laughs> yeah. And then you said from Hawaii you moved to Vegas. How did that happen? Uh shit. Well, uh, so I got in a lot of trouble when I was younger, and uh, ended up in this shit called drug court, and uh, they pretty much terrorized my life for like the whole time I was in high school. And I was getting locked up all the time. I got sick of it. So I uh, moved to Vegas because my mom was moving to Vegas. And I looked up the laws. And technically, since I was in juvenile drug court, they couldn't keep me there if I didn't have, like, a parental guardian that lived right. there. So so your mother was kind of like your way to kind of get out, right? Yeah, yeah. I played it smooth. I got out of rehab. And then I fucking cut off my ankle monitor. And I ran away for, like, I don't know, a month. Showed up to court with the ankle monitor, gave it to them, and I was like, I'm bouncing to Vegas, and they were just like, fuck. <laughs> they couldn't do nothing didn't about do it. They couldn't do shit, yeah. Yeah, so, because they were, it was either that, or they were going to lock me up that day till I was 21, because they got jurisdiction over there, like, over you until you're 21 for some reason. Damn. And I just turned 18, so I was like, fuck that, I'm going to Vegas. And what was, like, Vegas like? Vegas is a grimy-ass place, man. <laughs> Not cool, though. I like Vegas. It's just fucking. It's a, it's a, it's a sunny place for shady people. A <laughs> sunny place for shady it's people. <laughs> I lived there, bro, like for a couple of years, and I never knew like all the homeless people that kind of live in the tunnels and shit. I never, you know what I mean. I guess I yeah. kind of just stood in my area. I didn't really have a car, you know what I mean. So I was right there off of like Cobalt and Flamingo. Oh yeah, that's the freaking right where Tup- <laughs> Tupac got blasted. Like, yeah. By Ellis Island and the old Imperial pa- or old Maximum, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know exactly what that the is. A and P on the corner. Yep. So, what was like kind of life living like in Vegas, man? Were you getting into more trouble, or were you kind of uh-huh. doing more graffiti, or? Shit, I, I actually wasn't doing graffiti for like a lot of the time I was there, because uh, I, I had a kid, and you know what I mean. I was doing the kid thing, and then mm-hmm. that didn't work out with that baby mom, and then had another one, and then. You know what I mean? It was a different girl. And then I was trying to be a family man up until recent years, you know what I mean? Till that went to shit, kind of. And then uh, I've just been bombing ever since. Where did you kind of start getting into, like, taking bombing serious? Uh, shit. I don't know if I even take it serious right now. <laughs> I mean, you put in a lot of work, dog. Yeah, I put in a lot of work, but it's, uh, I just can't help it, you know what I mean? It's, I, I don't feel like I'm taking it serious enough sometimes. Because I just be fucking around most of the time. Like, I don't know. I ain't got nothing <laughs> else to do, so it's like I'm just out there writing on shit. Might as well put in some little bit of work. Yeah. Hey, what's kind of like one of your favorite cities or one of the best, you know, one of your favorite cities? Did you, shit, right? hands down, right now is probably new orleans okay actually new orleans sucks don't go there uh <laughs> yeah don't blow up my my spot too many, <laughs> shit. Too many fucking gangsters no 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 it's not even like that's that cool. there is no laws there bro that's the cool thing about that place is like the cops don't give a fuck bro if they tell you anything you just look up on them and they leave you alone <laughs> like straight up straight up have you been painting there uh yeah i was there for about three weeks maybe i think this past winter and i want to go back already i was supposed to go back but we ended up going like we're headed to like the northwest instead what were some kind of like the cool spots that you hit in new orleans or kind of shit i don't even know because everything's like all dilapidated and freaking <laughs> broken and shit over there it's and like, it's like kind of like probably like a lot of like it's just growth. bandos and bandos and you know, everything's like all abandoned or like destroyed like Detroit, like 10 years ago? Shit, I never got to go out there, but um, I seen pictures, and yeah, it's kind of like that. Everything looks like they dropped the bomb on it. You got to worry about, like, fucking in New Orleans. I would think you'd have to, like, worry about some crazy motherfuckers. Like, Yeah, there's a lot of fucking weird people out there, man. Just, everybody's strapped out there, too. It's crazy. Even yeah. the homeless people are strapped up. For <laughs> real? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy been in la a lot huh yeah how's that because like war LA's zone <laughs> huge bro it's a fucking war zone out there 
But shit, LA is fun though, man. But it's, I mean, it's, it's tough out there. It, it's a hard city to king. There's so much riders and there's so much places yeah, and obstacles. Hard. and It's hard to even get noticed. Yeah, it, it is. Really you gotta is. go big. You gotta fucking be consistent. Fucking... And it's, if you got beef, then you got to be even more consistent and you know, I mean, got to go even bigger. You got to be more on your toes. Yep. You never and, know who's around the corner. Fucking it's crazy out there. <laughs> and then graffiti out there is like, like I was about to say, like, it's different, man. It's different in every city. But over there, it's like everyone's a writer. Everyone's almost like checking everyone and everyone's yep. seeing who you are. <laughs> it's that gang culture out there. Man. Fucking, it's not like other places. Had to get used to it. Would you say that's kind of one of the number one rules is like no bombing in the hood? I'd, I'd be bombing in the hood. <laughs> I, I know. It, it yeah, gets, yeah, it gets yeah. hectic, right? I guess you just got to stay on your toes, you know what I mean? It's not for everybody. No, nah, I know when we go down there, we're right in the middle of South Central and you yeah, know what I mean? Right in the mix. Yeah, ain't afraid to do anything. You got to show what's up, man. Yeah. Um, shit, I'm... What are some of like the places that you want to go that you haven't been? Shit, right now, um, I don't know. I guess like the Northwest, like that's why we're headed out there right now. I'm about to leave here in a couple of days probably. But uh, other than that, I kind of want to explore the rest of the Midwest. I haven't got to like, you know what I mean? All of the ci cities that are like cracking out there right now. Yep. I think uh, St. Louis is one I still want to go to and Louisville. Hey, what? And besides that, um, I don't know what else is there out there. St. Louis, Louisville. I'm trying to think where like some real pop in like maybe Memphis. You know what I mean? Memphis, yeah. Atlanta. Yeah, I want to check out those cities eventually <laughs> too. What's kind of like your favorite kind of like spots to hit? Do you have anything that you really like? Shit, uh, anything. <laughs> anything. I'll, I'll paint on anything. Anything that I can paint on, I'll paint on it. You know what I mean? Hmm. Everybody be like, oh, yo, schools, churches, no. Like, but if it's a good spot, I'm going to get that, whether or not if it's a school or a church or a government building or a fucking dumpster. Or... Do you have any favorite spots you've hit? Shoot. Um... I will commend you guys on the one you just hit, like, about a week ago that um, you guys hit, like, the, a, a crew hit up TKO right off, right on the highway. Right on the highway. You know Which what I'm talking about? Which one? That it was, I want to say right in the middle, like... It was huge, and I want to say the. I'm gonna say a highway that I don't even fucking know. I was gonna say the ten. Oh, <laughs> oh, the ten. Okay, yeah, that yeah, that, that is the ten. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? Just a couple. It's kind yeah, of fresh, it's brand on new. The Whew, yeah, that shit's a, a runner because everyone's gonna see that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that right shit there. ran for a little while. It got buffed already. Oh damn! Do they be on the buff over there in LA right well, now? Well, no, we were going back and forth at that spot with some people, and then I mean, then we painted it like three or four times, whatever, but. Finally got buffed. Gotcha. All the hoopla got it buffed, right? I don't know why it got buffed or what, but maybe it's just time, because I know that spot was rocking for like a few years now. Damn. But like, uh, maybe they just got sick of like how much people were hitting it now, because we kind of like started a trend, I guess. After we hit it, then a whole bunch of people started hitting it. <laughs> dick riders. Nah, they weren't really riding our dicks, but. <laughs> Fools be side blessing for that picture, bro, for real. When they say, like, honestly, when they see a TKO right there, oh, yeah. they love side blessing that shit just to get that flick with that TKO in it, bro. And that's lame. <laughs> that's, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's whatever. whatever. That's what they do. I guess that's what they do, man. Hey, like, so not only do you, I mean, like I said, you're about everything when it comes to graffiti and you hit everything. And you're, like, up in L.A. And, like I said, it's not, that's not an easy thing to do. What are, how would you say, what does it take to do some shit like that to be everywhere, honestly? Because LA is fucking <laughs> huge, bro. And it's. Uh, for one, uh, a way to get some free paint. Two, like, I don't know, coffee or like meth or like Adderall or some shit. And, uh, <laughs> or maybe, the, I don't know, you know what I mean? Some kind of hardcore drugs, probably. Yeah, or alcohol. You and just then, gotta uh, fucking that, go yeah. balls to the wall. Pretty much, and, and a ride. If you don't have a ride, then you're probably not gonna really get nowhere. All right, like you're gonna stay in like things. one little area, huh? You mean things? Yeah, it's paint supply, some kind of freaking like uh, motivation, and uh, a ride. <laughs> 
that was like one of the things I noticed when I was in LA, bro. Is like every everything seems burnt. Like from <laughs> the Home Depots to the fucking FedEx. Like you can't burnt, yeah. get a pair of scissors or some fucking glue stick or rubber bands to save your ass. Well, there's just like so many people out there that are fucking with the business and they're out there rocking every day. You know what I mean? Already yeah, all day. We easily burn through what a hundred cans a day over there if we're really bombing. Damn. Between like two or three of us. <laughs> No, the homies out there racking fucking boxes of paint every day, 50 cans at a time, two boxes at a time. It's crazy. God damn. He's just blowing through so much paint. It's unbelievable. If I spend money on it, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to keep up. Like, so if you guys, if there's three of y'all and y'all blow through 100 cans, like how many spots is that? <laughs> I don't even count, bro. It's just... <laughs> Cause you know we be driving around all day and not really doing anything important except bombing. So we see something, we hop out, hit it. See something, hop out, hit it. We got this there, go fix it. Right. And it's just nonstop, never ending. Like from the time I wake up to like a week later when I decide to go to sleep. <laughs> no, I, I definitely, I definitely get that. I've um went on a little couple missions there, and it's been like some damn like. I put in a lot of work tonight. <laughs> like, yeah. I know I was capable of all that shit. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? And you start counting all that. Like you said, sometimes just even like you lose count and you're just yeah. like, because you. We don't even flick everything. You know what exactly. I mean? We just be like on the move. Like you said, you might hit 10 spots and then you might, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Fix five more spots that got dissed and you might diss five spots and then yeah. fucking hit up a good gang of other shit. You know what For I mean? And then doing throwaways, it's like, boom, hit one and then it's like, Oh, fuck it. I'm going to do another one and do another one. It's like, you got three throwies at one spot, and it's like... I'm not going to say who it damn. is, but I, I kind of <laughs> see the big homie doing that right now, and oh, he's yeah. just one, two, three in a row, like, everywhere. <laughs> That's kind of tight, bro, when you start seeing those yeah, three, yeah. fours, and fives, and... Shout out to Master Blaster. <laughs> for sure, for yeah. sure, you know what I mean? <laughs> doing your thizzle, you know what I mean? Um, hey, how are the cops kind of in L.A. right now? Are they still they, pretty they, chill, or...? I don't know. Uh, they don't give a fuck, really. Like, I've been fucking painting a lot recently, and the cops will, like, just roll up because I'm just not even paying attention, I guess. And, you know what I mean? They're right behind me, and they just shine me with the spotlight. They're like, hey, go home. And I just look at them, you know what I mean? I'd be like, all right, well, hold on. I'm almost done. <laughs> right. And then they're just like, whatever. <laughs> no, that's funny. But other cities, though, they're fucking tripping. Yeah. Like, L.A. right now is chill, though. But, yeah, they're tripping in other places, like, for sure. I seen a lot. I don't know who the guys are that be putting out the videos. There's the little Mexican fools. But they be putting out the LA videos and they be doing shit pretty much broad daylight, right? During yeah. rush hour, doing rollers. And I seen the homie, like I said, Tass. And I forgot his name. What is his name? Is it Nevin? Oh, uh, Nivik. Nivik. Yeah, he's doing up. like the big ass rollers right there. Like, yeah. like the big ass rollers, bro. Like, fuck. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> you know I, mean? yeah, I guess the cops, they just got a whole bunch of other, like, more serious shit to worry about right now. Because I don't know if you heard about, like, how everybody's all getting followed home and robbed over there and shit right now. And, like, I don't know. Is that the big shit right there? Like, really, like, if it's if it ain't violent crime, they're not really tripping. So, as long as you're not violently freaking getting up on a wall, then I'm mean, sure you're straight. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> don't be punching the wall. Yeah, if you're over there trying to freaking assault the wall and shit, then I don't know. They might trip on you. That's they funny. might trip. Like, but they be stopping us, though, like, sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, but it's very rare that they waste their time with us now. If anything, they're just looking for, like guns and drugs that's what i was, I was funny and it's got to be a lot of drugs because they caught me with a lot of drugs and they still gave them back to me and let me go <laughs> like, no, that's gotta what gonna take the homie they gotta suspect you of selling it you gotta be trafficking like freaking 100 tons like, like the, 100 tons of like fucking heroin like the cartel or else they're not gonna give a fuck yeah if you ain't doing cartel numbers they ain't really fucking with you in any other city you're gonna go and do 10 years in prison probably for trafficking they get caught with like an ounce of fucking heroin or meth but no they're giving it back to you now over there they're like come back with something bigger next time <laughs> are you serious <laughs> yeah they don't give a fuck <laughs> damn has LA I guess LA PD's changed you know what I mean cause yeah well back... I don't know they, this is the experience I've had since I've started going out there so I never got to experience really the bad part of, like, the cops over there. They've all been pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You have any kind of kind of maybe crazy little episodes that you've had in L.A., bombing experiences? Um, yeah, every day is a crazy bombing experience, I guess. Like. It is. It can be, for it, real. It's every day, man. Every day is crazy. <laughs>
can't even name one story because it's all crazy. <laughs> Do you, what's like um? Are you like um? When you when you start when you, when you go out, is it during the day? Is it at night, or doesn't even matter? Just whenever you're kind of filling yeah. it up. Daytime, nighttime. You know what I mean? In between errands and whenever, like <laughs> graffiti can happen at any time. Exactly. Yeah. Lately, it's been a lot of daytime though. They're just not really giving a fuck, huh? That's kind of. Uh, I, I think I like reached that point where like all the fear of getting in trouble for doing this stuff kind of went out the window, and I kind of just try to make like make it look like I'm allowed to be there. Like we were talking about earlier, just kind of blend in, just kind of be yeah. smart about it a little bit, like, right? People be stopping, you know what I mean, and looking or freaking filming and calling the cops or whatever just turn and wave at them you know what I mean act like you're supposed to be there right what are some of them I was going to tell you um, where are some of the places where they kind of like you said they'd be tripping on you shit um, more like the, I would say south midwest like I would, see, I would think they would be tripping in Kansas Kansas they're tripping definitely tripping in Kansas but in Missouri nah it's like once you cross that line they're tripping but yeah, I, I guess it all depends. Like, if you stay like in the like the hood, freaking violent, like crazy cities and shit, where it's kind of dangerous to be there, you're pretty good. Like, as far as the cops, like they're really not gonna bother you. But once you go into one of those, like, Missouri dangerous. Places, Missouri's pretty hood, you know. What yeah. I mean? Like, it's as far as I've seen. Well, I don't know. It depends on what part. I was just in the boonies over there, and it's pretty chill over there. Like, I went to jail out there like last week or the week before, and. They got me on a warrant or whatever, but they're cool as fuck over there. I like that place. They weren't too bad. I was in a historic jail. It was open since before Abraham Lincoln was born. God damn. Cool as fuck. It looked like a dungeon. <laughs> For real? Like some Green Mile shit? Straight up. It, yeah, that's exactly what it looked like. But they're hella cool over there. You know what I mean? They took us outside to smoke cigarettes and let us shovel dirt on the side of the road. <laughs> it's like, I was like, what, dude? I could literally run away here. <laughs> But where would I go anyway? No, nowhere. Hey, would you say that like all the the cops being so lax in like LA has that brought out more graffiti writers and more toys? Uh, yeah, definitely. People have definitely seen it a lot more on YouTube. You know what I mean? Dude, I'd be running into like some people. It's like I don't think they even like are graffiti writers and they're out. You know what I mean? Catching spots and stuff. <laughs> really? Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. Like. Uh, people are just start picking up the hobby, I guess, after COVID maybe. They're so bored at home, but right into a lot of people that you know what I mean, like, they just be out there writing that shit. That's crazy. But yeah, definitely lots of graffiti writers in LA to bump into everyone in the grandma paints over there. So I'd say I'd run into like maybe three or four people a day. Some cities I don't run into anybody ever. Like, uh huh. In Vegas, you hardly ever run into any other writers, or at least I don't. Like, and I'd be out there active, like you know what I mean, trying to fucking bang on fools like yo, so it's fuck you, right? Like. Right, right. They'd be like, oh, I don't write, I I read though, like. <laughs> I read. <laughs> I read. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Hey, what is like the graffiti scene like in Vegas? Uh, like, like uh, it's, it's cool. Is like the I mean? buff? Like, do they buff right away? Yeah, they, they, the buff is pretty on it over there, and the cops are also pretty on it. But uh, you know how to move and like blend in, I guess. Like, and you know your way around the city really good. Then you don't really gotta worry about the cops too much. You don't gotta worry about gangs over there much either. So. It seemed like it was a lot more just Mexican. When I was there, it was like a lot of Mexican people, like a lot of uh, paisas, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of places. <laughs> I don't really see too much like gang banging, you know what I mean? When you see a lot it's of paisas, there. the city's about to come up. It's there though, but like Vegas, for the most part, it's like, it's pretty chill as long as you just don't paint in some stupid areas. Cause like, you know, the, the casinos still run that shit. Like, right. They got their money and uh, if you fuck with their shit, they're going to fucking fuck you up. So. As long as you don't piss off like the casino people, I guess you're straight. They Is will build a case on you though. They will build a case on you eventually. Oh yeah. Shit, man. I was gonna ask you, do you ever like you said you bomb in the hood too, do you ever what's that's kinda like a different fucking ball game. Yeah. Um just gotta 
be on your toes, watch your back, you know what I mean? Know how to act around people, how to talk to people. Because one of the good pieces of advice that my homie gave me when I was out there, he's like, back in the days, like, you could tell, like, a gangbanger, they really kind of stuck out. Nowadays, they kind of look like us, and they'll oh, creep yeah, up on you with up. the quickness. Like, we'd be hitting up some fools, we think they're right, and it's like, nah, fool, I don't write a gangbang. It's like, what? <laughs> Look like me. Yeah, they be blending in, you know what yeah. I mean? And there's always people watching, you You know what I mean? You yeah. always got to kind of keep that in mind, too, especially yeah. when you're in your hood. There's always someone with eyes on you, kind of. Straight up. That's how they do that shit, man. Mm-hmm. They're just kind of waiting for you to step out of line to kind of check you, you know? Yeah, it, it's, I don't know, I haven't really got into nothing too crazy, but uh, I be hearing stories, you know what I mean? People saying, like, certain neighborhoods, you don't want to be there. Yeah. They catch you, they're going to smoke you, but I, I haven't had no bad experiences, but I'm kind of stealth with it, so... I don't know, maybe just get in and get out without being seen. You're like a fucking ninja, huh? I don't know. I I, I guess so. But uh, I don't feel like I'm being a ninja, but I guess maybe I am. <laughs> and when you go bombing, do you like to go like solo or do you always go with someone in L.A.? Or um, just... I like to paint solo, honestly. But it's, it's it, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like, I only like to bomb. I'll paint with anybody. It doesn't really matter, but... When I go bombing, I like to, you know what I mean, bomb a certain way. Like, I don't like going with people who are going to be like, okay, I know a spot, and then they're going to keep driving after we pass the spot, and we don't just hop out and hit it, you know what I mean? Right. Like, I'm just trying to get to it. You're about business. Like, yeah, that or, like, just, like, people who are just, like, hella pussy, like, fucking, like, nobody's going to stop you, like, on the side of the freeway, like, you know what I mean? Like, just, let's just go and get it. Like, fucking, okay. some people just be, like, looking around, like, too much and, like, stopping painting. It's like, come on, let's just get it done. Huh. Right. When you actually think about the logic, especially in LA, they are not going to be able to stop on that. Yeah, highway. there's no way they're right. going to stop. There's no way they're going to even see you most of the time. It's like dark as fuck, or like you're high up. Nobody's looking up when they're driving, like except us. <laughs> right. Well, I do have to admit, as out of towner, me and the homie, we were down there with a couple other homies. Yeah. And we got flashed by the police, like you said. <laughs> and me and the homie. We took off. <laughs> and everyone else stood there. And yeah. by the time we got to the top, because you know the stairs, right? Yeah. It's like, God damn, where's everyone else at? And then we thought about <laughs> it, and we just like, oh, man. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, some bitch. One thing about L.A., too, is if you look closely, there are holes cut everywhere. Oh, yeah. I, I, be, I be doing a lot of that shit, dude. From fat motherfuckers. I be carrying bull cutters everywhere. I be cutting anything I can. Like they were telling me, like, bro, you could hop the fence right here or literally cross the fence, and there's a hole right there that your fat ass will fit through. Yeah, I was like, yeah. all right, cool. <laughs> like, you know, meet you on the other end. And whoever's out there, they'd be cutting them diagonally and just, like, only a line diagonal, so you still have to, like, I don't know. Whoever cuts their fence like that, you're fucking retarded. <laughs> and please just cut a normal door into the fence. Exactly. Like, <laughs> not trying to fucking catch me, right? Like, I don't know what that thing, like, like who, who does that shit? Like, <laughs> just cut a whole freaking hole you can fit through not just a line yeah no shit. it's hard as fuck to get through that line <laughs> right hey who are kind of like your, some of your influences in the graffiti game um, throughout this throughout your you know shit everybody i meet basically like you know what i mean like my shit is just like i would be like feeding off of other people's like styles and energy and stuff so whenever I taking a little bit from everyone learning a little bit from everyone I tend to like when I go paint with certain people like I tend to like try to like do something similar to their style like mostly so it matches but like more like experimental shit too you know what I mean like something out of my like comfort zone I guess and I don't know just trying to do something new a lot of the time oh yeah so it doesn't really matter like who my influence is is like it's just who I'm painting with, really. Like we're saying, just learn a little bit from everyone. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean? It doesn't That's really tight. matter. Like, it doesn't even have to be painting, you know what I mean? It could just be, like, something, like... It's your the life. Way, the way we, like, go about things, too. Like, you know what I mean? Certain people paint a certain way, and certain people, you mean, paint a different way. Like, <laughs> but I mean, like, just learning from everybody, everything. That's dope, man. You know what I mean? That's kind of one thing we always kind of, even me being an old motherfucker, I'm always down to learn. You know, it doesn't matter yeah. how old you are. If you could teach me something that I don't know, you know, yeah. hey, I'm just trying to improve my my game, you know? Mm-hmm. Hey, um, 
what I was gonna say. I wanted to ask you about getting paint and like racking paint. Like, <laughs> what about it? I'm, it's different everywhere. Like I said, in LA, I'm sure it's a pain in the ass. Um, it depends on who you are, what you're comfortable with doing, really. Like, I, I don't know, some of the homies be crazy with racking, but you know what I mean. Some of them got like, their their ways, and some got their their ways, like. <laughs> I've seen a lot of different methods of racking lately, and there's some that are effective, some that are like, you know what I mean, enough to get you by, and there's some that are just like insane. What are some insane ones? Do you mind sharing uh, a little, or? Uh, just the walking out with like 100, 200 cans at a time, and just them not noticing you is kind of insane. Is that still doable <laughs> nowadays, though? Uh, yeah, you know, they say it's not, and they say not to go to these stores and do it, but I know people who go to those stores you're not supposed to go to, and they rack fucking stupid amounts of freaking shits and it was like the homie said it's after a certain point it's not even racking no more it's called looting <laughs> just yeah just straight looting <laughs> i guess like things kind of changed like over covert too and now like they don't really like i said i mean they're not really gonna try to fuck with you really i mean there might be like uh, a hero or something but i mean for the most part yeah there's there's always a hero but yeah for the most part like if, if you know what you're doing and you're freaking got the balls, dude, you're getting away with it. There's no way, like, anybody could be painting out there without racking paint. And they would financially get taken out of the game, you know what I mean? Especially with L.A. prices, right? I'm sure cans are like, <laughs> oh, what? Oh, man, I just went to, like, try to get some paint over here, like, two days ago, and they're charging $8 a can. <laughs> Damn. It's outrageous. And then, like you said, it's kind of already hard to get shit out there because shit's kind of burnt, so they're kind of... I don't know. Are they on the bowl there? Yeah, they're, they're on it. It just depends just... on how big your balls are, I guess. You know what I mean? No. Oh. <laughs> if you go out and you chance it and you don't give a fuck and you just, you're you smooth, then uh, you can do it. Damn, where's my mouth at? <laughs> Here. Yeah. Smoking with your boy, shit. Yeah. What kind of paint do you prefer, man? What's your favorite paint to paint with? Do you have a free paint? <laughs> Anything free, I'll, I'll use it. But um, lately, uh, the dang paint, that dang paint is a shit. What about the um, <coughs> Martha Stewart with those oh, Montana yeah. colors? The Martha Stewart paint, that shit is dope too. Um, Rusto. <laughs> Heck yeah. Martha Stewart. Do you ever No, I'm dead ass. I'm serious, I'm, dude. I'm dead ass. That Martha Stewart yeah. paint is quality paint, bro. That's that is crazy. And they, and it's easy to it comes in the, the, the Montana colors, too. Yeah, they got good colors. It's good quality. It's fucking, like, the valves are, like, you know, you got to use those, like, Krylon adapters or whatever, but they got good valves, you know, and they spray good. They yeah. fit a lot of different caps, and it's good coverage, and... So it's a slim can too. It looks like a yeah. Freaking it looks like a Febreze almost yeah. kind of. Yeah, it's like not Febreze but oh, hairspray. Shit. Like this fool had them the other day. I was like, what are those? Yeah, like, like if, you know, what I mean, you could go in and you're gonna rock a tub of fifty cans, but if you get these Martha Stewart ones, you can easily fit like oh. hundred twenty five cans to a bin and rock oh, all of that shit. That's crazy. And we're out bombing you, right? Yeah, it don't matter. Yeah, we out bombing for sure. Getting that shit. <laughs> I bet sometimes you love going to those like little small cities, especially when you're doing on a road trip because they ain't really hip on the game, right? Yeah, but those are the ones where you get in trouble, man. The small towns. With the Barney Fives? Like, I don't know. I like small towns and shit, but it's like I'm, I'm slowly starting to learn to stay the fuck away from them as much as possible. Because <laughs> we just stick out like sore thumbs over there. True that. Like, if you're from a city and you go to a small town, they're going to know that you're not from there. And the cops are going to question everything you do. <laughs> All right, so my, it might not be as easy as you think. Yeah, it's, it, it's easy until you're noticed. And then after you're noticed, you're kind of screwed because they're going to they're gonna get you, bro. It's a small ass town. <laughs> All right. I got hella cases in small towns right now. <clears throat> for dumb shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Shit. Man. You high? High as fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Hey, shit. What was I going to say? I was going to ask you something, dog. My fucking. How'd you kind of get down with TKO? Shit. 
Shit, my boy Jesco uh, put me down. He's in prison right now. But, uh, yeah, that's my dog. He, he asked me a few times, but I always turn him down. But, I don't know, it's kind of at a point where I was like, had nothing better to do, really. So, I said, fuck it. I'll join TKO. Right, and was this in Vegas? Yeah, in Las Vegas. Nice. And then what kind of made you start kind of like traveling around and kind of like... Um being on the run <laughs> avoiding you know what I mean uh, going to prison so and cases just, and shit like that I went on this tour this extradition tour and uh I don't know this tour is gonna be from last year till whenever the fuck I get extradited it's called the extradition tour <laughs> how many cities have you hit so far fuck like damn let me hold on let me write this shit down because of can't do the math right now. Oh, there we go. Let's see. It started in... Started in Nevada. Okay, so Nevada. Went to California. From California, went to Nevada again. But this is where I'm trying to stay away from. I'm trying to stay away from Nevada. Right, that's where you don't As much to. as possible. Like, you know what I mean? That's like prison, prison. So it's like, stay away from Nevada. Okay, went to Utah. I try to stay away from there too because they're crazy over there. Then I went to Colorado. Then from Colorado, Nebraska. Nebraska to Kansas. No, Missouri. Then Kansas. Then Arkansas. Louisiana. God damn. From Louisiana back to Cali. Then, uh, Cali. Back to Kansas, caught a case in Kansas, and then uh, back to Nebraska, caught a case in Nebraska. So I'm trying to stay away from these places now, because they will extradite my ass like fucking crazy. Then uh, from Nebraska, uh, went back to Cali, back to Nebraska, which I'm trying to stay away from. Right. Then back to Kansas, which I'm also trying to stay away from, but I've just been playing with fire. And then uh, Missouri. Then back over here to Nebraska. Stupid move. Then Colorado, <laughs> which is where I'm at now. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, I've just been hopping around. That's a lot of fucking stops. And it continues. How many it's cans continuing. of paint in all what you just wrote right there? Honestly, like, Bro, for real, for real. For real, for real. Like, well, probably in, like, the... But I say five thousand. Probably closer to ten, honestly. It's a lot of fucking money, yeah, like you I said. Mean, I've been on this shit for, since like November, or September, or something. Like some shit, you know, it's like for th- forty thousand dollars worth of paint. Actually, dude, if you want to actually know how much money I blew through in this tour, it's probably close to probably close to a hundred thousand, bro. It's just straight blowing cash. I'm down to like maybe like a thousand bucks right now, but yeah, I'm not worried. <laughs> nah, you're definitely a grinder fool. Yeah, go I got the rest it. of my life. You know what I mean? To, uh, worth of stops to go to still. So, yep, so we're gonna be on tour for a long time. Gotta figure it out. Is there like um? Is there like kind of like almost you place like a minimum of spots you want to hit when you go to a city? Do you set a number or do you just go just shit? I uh, usually don't leave if I freaking like the place, you know what I mean? Like, right. I don't know. I don't try to do the most, but it's just I can't help it, you know what I mean? Like, I leave usually whenever I feel like I did enough. When you're satisfied, or, which is like or hardly ever so usually it's something else that comes along that i need to go take care of so i end up using that city to go to like i don't know court somewhere or like go to mexico with the homies and go fucking bang some hookers at hong kong or whatever the fuck it is you know what I mean? right or someone's birthday party or whatever you're definitely a pop-up guy you'll yeah. pop up for some yeah, some shit up. like just tell just me something's me happening and i'll be like all right i'm over here <laughs> I drive there, fly there, whatever. Show up at six in the morning. Six in the morning, like so, <laughs> three in the morning, like whatever. <laughs> All I remember was come outside with your cocks out. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Shit. Like, cool, cool. Like, man, that shit was funny, dog. It was just so, because I just, is random craziness, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm fun with that shit. The whip is fun. That's that like, I always nice. wanted that whip, dude. And, and I, I just decided to just buy it one day, and then I actually caught a case because of that, and that's like, why well, I'm on the run over there in Kansas, but that was funny. That car's got me in so much trouble since I had it. Oh, man. Bro, I went to jail like three times because of that car. And it's a fucking cop car. <laughs> it looks like it, yeah. Yeah. You could yeah. be mistaken. Yeah, yeah. That's literally why I always get pulled over. They think I'm their homie. <laughs> oh, that's oh fucked up. <laughs> that ain't cool. That's not even probable cause. Oh, so you thought I was your homie, so you pulled me over. <laughs> you know what's funny is that shit reminds me of, like, have you ever seen the movie, um... Oh, fuck, um, it's with Ed Lever and Dr. Dre. Who's the man? When they're in, like, the cop, they become cops, and they're in, like, the cop cars, and they go up to, like, the homies, and they put the lights and the horn on them. Yep. <laughs> they're like, drop your draws. They're like, start singing the Star Spangled Banner. Like, that shit's hilarious. It's just funny, though, because, like, now, you know what I mean? Every time I see a cop pass me by, I know it's them, and they are a cop, whether the car is marked or not, because they always wave at me. I guess that's like a cop thing is to like wave at other cops when you see them on the road. So, you know, they ride themselves out. And you said they've pulled you over because they, they just want to say hi because they yeah. honestly think. In those small towns, man, that's where I'm staying. Like, stay away from small towns, man. Like, they'll pull you over because they thought you were their homie. Damn. Straight up. Yeah, stay away, small towns. Stay away from those places. Barney Five will get your ass. He got one that bullet. Is, that is the sketchier spots in America. You might get shot there. Shit. Oh, for real? Yeah. No, it's it's funny because small town America, bro. <laughs> we talk, it's crazy. We talked to the homie Maker that's down with TKO, and he talks about that how like bombing in like New Mexico and in those fucking vacant like places where people have owned that shit for generations and generations and generations he's like yeah. they will smoke your ass in a minute yeah, and up. bury your ass out there for trespassing exactly like, and up. back there like you know what I mean you're back there sometimes where ain't no help or ain't no nothing no cell phone ain't nothing shit you might not ever yeah they might keep you in a hole in the ground and like feed you for real some one real. bologna sandwich a day or something for real dog Oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, like just torture your ass, be on some shit. crazy fucking who knows what shit. <laughs> shit, I can see it happening in LA though. Shit, that many people. I'm sure there's all kinds of motherfuckers that you be seeing some weird ass shit, bro. Oh yeah. Like fools, <laughs> like you know what I mean. And one thing I was gonna tell you too, you were talking about the homeless, but the homeless out there, man, is, is different too. Like yeah. you don't really oh, fuck yeah. with those fools, like no. you know. They're cool anyway. Like I mean, they got your back usually. Most of the time, I don't know. They've been sweating kind of lately, but just slide them a couple of dollars, bro. Like yeah. here you go, bro. I got a couple bucks for you. We pass that. that. Yeah. I got a couple bucks for you, homie. You just watch out for me real quick. I ain't trying to fuck your shit yeah. up. Well, a lot of the businesses are hiring them at as security guards over there. Shit, go like take up some LA. take up some cigarettes and some and a and a little bottle, and I guarantee you that'll be your security. Oh, for real? Shit, you said yeah, so that. I wouldn't doubt it. You said that, um, what were you saying there? The actual places are paying them as to be the security? Yeah, like some of the businesses are paying them to be security guards overnight and stuff. And, you know what I mean? They take their job way more serious than, like, if you were to pay any normal, like, person from, like, you know what I mean, that didn't need that job, like, that bad. Like, right. They'd be like, oh, no, it's not worth my job. Like, fuck that. Go like, we'll do whatever. Like, look, those homeless people, they'll, they'll take that shit serious, man. They guard that shit their life. Yeah, give them a responsibility. Give them a purpose, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Well, look on the, the documentary the with Cartoon and... Stella, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. They had that one crazy gangster, you know what I mean? I don't want to say junkie, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Fucked up a homie that was there all the time that they kind of looked out for. Shit, man. Hey... Where do you want to? Where do you see? Where do you want to take your like graffiti next? Like, is it just bigger and better and more and more and more? Are you on that kind of mentality right um, now? Um, yeah, basically, I just want to destroy shit. Like, it doesn't really matter like what it is. I'm doing like a throwy or a piece or whatever. I just want to do a lot more graffiti that's like mediocre or whatever, but still like in quantities. You know what I mean, whatever. Right. <laughs> Yeah, bigger, better, whatever. Um, more, more bigger, a lot bigger. 
and a lot more better maybe i just don't want to bomb shit <laughs> right do you like doing rollers yeah i love doing rollers <clears throat> when's the last time you did one um shit yesterday <laughs> <laughs> damn that's yeah. what i'm talking about yeah. <laughs> Tight. It's like, <laughs> fucking damn. I'm like even kind of speechless. <laughs> That's tight, bro. Well, shit, man. I'm trying to think. You have any questions there, Elvis? Man, I got high as fuck. To be honest with you, what? shit. Everybody got smoked out. I hear that, man. How do you like Denver? Uh, Grammar school, man. Fucking. I'll be high as fuck right now too. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the graffiti, graffiti scene out here? It's cool, you know. Um, what I've seen so far, it looks like, I know some people might disagree, but it looks like RGK is taking the Denver for the year. They got hella spots. Good spots. Nice spots. <laughs> Everyone says, like, you know what I mean, tag bangers, but I don't know. They on top right now, it seems like. <laughs> yeah, we're getting it, for sure. Shouts to RGK. Hell uh, yeah. If you don't know about Be Good, they got some good weed. They're over there. I'm telling you, 11 West Hampton Boulevard. They can take care of all your marijuana needs. And up north? 114th in Cherokee. Hell yeah, bro. Hi. Pretty much. Hi, as fuck. And the homie Heiser's missing still. We don't even know where the fuck he's at. He's still yeah. looking for clothes. Shout out. Shots to And if you don't know, you know what I mean? Y'all need to check them out, man. They be wrecking shit, like, for Pressures. real. Pressures. Yep, yep. You got any kind of, any any shout outs, anything like that? Uh, Shouts out to the sponsors. Um, Shouts out to, uh, I don't know, everybody out there. Shouts out to you guys. Appreciate you, bro, coming on. <laughs> Be bueno for all your graffiti needs. Yep, yep. Street art needs. For sure. Before I do let you go, bro, what are like a couple things that you would tell to young writers to help them out and a couple things you would tell to young kids not to fuck with graffiti? Um, Not to fuck with graffiti. Not to do in graffiti. Yeah, like, oh, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, kind of, because it's a different well, life, Well, basically, bro. like, a... it depends on, you know what I mean, what you're trying not to fuck up. Right. And, you know what I mean? If you don't want to fuck up in your real life, then just don't do graffiti at all. But if you want to not fuck up in the graffiti life, I guess, then, uh, just mind your business or, uh... Don't give a fuck about regular yeah, life. Yeah, just don't give a fuck about regular life. <laughs> <laughs> Because it definitely is a lifestyle, bro. I mean, you live a lifestyle that a lot of people, you know what I mean? Yeah, you definitely got to sacrifice your regular life to live the lifestyle, though. So, got to balance your options out, I guess. What would you say keeps you going and grinding at it? Just, I don't know. I, I get so much, uh, like, what do you call it? Like, enjoyment out of writing my name on something for some reason. I don't even know why I do it, but it's pretty fun. It's not explainable with words, I guess. Right. <laughs> it's like kind of we talked about earlier, bro. If you don't know, you don't know. If you yeah. know, you know. Yeah. Like, there's a reason people do this. And just like everything, you if know what I mean? like, I don't know if you ever smoked DMT, but it's just like that, bro. It's like, I can't explain it, but I know, I know why. <laughs> right. Oh. Yeah. All right, bro. Well, shit. Well, we appreciate you coming on the show for us, man. Shit, we, you know, definitely much respect, yeah. bro. We know you be killing it. Thank you. Nothing but love. Shit. Yeah, yeah bro. Keep killing the shit. Uh, I will. All right, bro. Can't help it. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop, Can't right? Can't stop, won't stop, bro. There you go, stop. bro. All right, we're out of here. Like I said, you can find us on all platforms, man. Another banger for you, man. Like I said, man. There you go. Free yeah. jazz go. Yeah, free all the homies. R.I.P. All the homies too. You know, yeah. there's a bunch of them. Too many. We out of here. Peace. Peace.